When I was in college, I was a jewelry major and I made jewelry. So I really like the 3D aspect, which is what I probably like about the quirks is that it's, it's a little bit more sculptural. One of the greatest joys of this job is getting the opportunity to sit back and watch artists work. Craftsmen creating, masters making, all with a unique skill in a unique medium. And although we've seen many amazing things over the years, we have never seen anything quite like what Becky Morris calls cork art. So talk to me about the corks. How did you get into cork art? Is that what you call it? Cork I don't art? know any other name, so <laughs> I guess so. I really was the first person that came up with doing things with corks that weren't um, a trivet or a wreath. And I just had a bunch of corks that um, I wanted to do something cool with them. I don't even remember why I had them. It just sort of took off. It, it got a life of its own and now there's a lot of people that do it. Talk to me about the corks. This seems like a lot of um, wine drinking. People ask me all the time, did you drink all that wine? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I enjoy my work. <laughs> but no, of course I didn't drink all that wine. I, I could float my house to New Zealand with all the corks I have. <laughs> Most of Becky's raw materials come from restaurants in and around Round Rock. From Italian places to steakhouses, she regularly stops by to pick up their latest batch of corks. Then she brings it all together in her tiny studio where cast off corks become works of art. I've got pieces all over the nation and quite a few pieces in other countries. There's one piece in Austria that is a logo of a company and it's in their boardroom. And I've got two pieces in a Royal Caribbean cruise line. So there's just all over, there's a lot of, they're all over the place. You don't have to own a cruise line or a big business to get one of Becky's pieces because she says there's nothing that brings her more joy than telling people stories with their own corks. Who are your customers? You know, they have come to be people that drink nice wines. <laughs> because number one, they always save their corks. And they, you know, um, want something done with their corks. Does each cork have a story or, or tell a story? Well, it, each cork tells a story to someone. Like, a lot of times people, I, I get corks that people will even write on the side that says anniversary or, you know, celebration for some business something. Or, you know, like, it, each cork has a story for someone. When your customers get their final piece of art, and they love it, and you see that in their eyes. What does that do for you? It makes me very happy. <laughs> makes me very happy. That's the whole idea, and um, I wanted to bring them joy. And the, of course, it's, it brings them joy just to see their corks. Oh, I remember that occasion. That uh, You know, it, it makes them real happy just to see their corks put together on something. How long will you do this? As long as people will still buy them. I'll, I'll keep, I love it. It's like I sit around sometimes and think, Becky, why do you love corks? Like th this doesn't really make sense to me, but I think working with corks is super fun. <laughs>